As investigators continue to pour through evidence in this week's terrifying subway attack, one thing they hope to uncover is motive. So many people want to know, why would anybody shoot up a subway car full of innocent commuters? All right, Sharon Crowley taking a closer look at what may have sparked the suspect's rage. She's here now with the details. Sharon. Yes, Teresa, it's a question all New Yorkers, especially subway riders, want to know what's inside the mind of the man accused of opening fire in a crowded subway. I talked with a former FBI agent. She's telling me he could be an attention seeker. Mr. James, anything to say? Accused Brooklyn subway shooter Frank James finds himself under the unrelenting glare of the national spotlight. Former FBI agent Kathy Guider believes James craves the attention. That he called Crime Stoppers, um, you know, and said, you know, this is where I am. That means he, he's seeking attention. He wants attention. He wants him to know where he is. What law enforcement and everyone else now wants to know is why. Frank, why did you shoot all those people? What motivated the 62-year-old to allegedly unleash terror in the subway? Through interviews with his family, with neighbors. I think they're going to come up with more of a picture of what his real purpose was and why, the why behind the purpose. I'm heading back into the danger zone, so to speak. You know, um, and it's triggering a lot of negative thoughts. James's previous social media posts may also provide important clues as to what could have triggered his rage. Right now, I have no doubt that there are agents, analysts, detectives going through every one of his um, social media posts. As James faced charges in federal court, his public defender asking the judge for a psychiatric evaluation of her client. Determining James's state of mind could also provide important insight as to why this happened. Guider doesn't know if James is insane, but she does think this way. I think more along the lines of someone who uh, is frustrated and it's been building for a long time and he has finally decided that, you know, it's push come to shove time. Well, tonight, James remains in federal custody. He was denied bail. He faces charges of breaking a law that prohibits terrorists and violent acts against mass transportation. Teresa. Sharon, thank you.